Even the greatest mixed martial artists have a small weakness or two, though it can be hard to identify at times. Furthermore, certain fighters have particular challenges outside of the cage. The 10 UFC fighters, both past and present, that we're going to highlight all had extremely successful careers in spite of serious skill set inadequacies, durability concerns, or even psychological disorders in some cases. With that in mind, it's time to take a look at 8 fighters with one big weakness. Number 8. Dominic Cruz Injuries Dominic the Dominator Cruz has faced a who's who of bantamweight stars. Still, it's fair to say that the future Hall of Famer's most formidable challenge has been the injury bug. Sadly, health issues have caused the San Diego product to be sidelined for years. Cruz's most notable injury occurred in 2011 when he tore his ACL. Several setbacks following the incident, including multiple surgeries and a torn groan, resulted in a nearly three-year absence. Crows would finally return at UFC 178 and pick up an impressive first-round TKO victory over Takia Mizugaki. Unfortunately, shortly after his return, Cruz announced that he had torn his other ACL, which sidelined him for over a year. Remarkably, the Dominator would once again make a full recovery and even recapture the UFC bantamweight title. Still, despite a triumphant return, Cruz has fought just seven times since 2011. As impressive as his career has been, one has to ponder how much more he could have accomplished had his body held up. Number 7. Anthony Johnson – Rear Naked Chokes Anthony Rumble Johnson is one of the most potent punchers the sport has ever seen. He's also a former junior college national champion, a feat he accomplished during his time at Lassen Community College. Still, despite a solid grappling pedigree, Johnson has struggled with one submission in particular, the rear naked choke. In total, five of Johnson's six pro losses have come via rear naked chokes. Of course, his two UFC light heavyweight title bouts with Daniel DC Cormier were among those losses. Now a heavyweight competing in Bellator, Johnson looks to stay out of the dreaded stranglehold and finally capture a world title. Number 6. Luke Rockhold – Left Hooks Luke Rockhold is an understandably confident individual as a Calvin Klein model, a former UFC champion, and a man who dated Grammy Award-winning artist Demi Lovato. That said, the former pound-for-pound -pound great has fallen on hard times recently in the octagon. Having lost three of his last four, the Californian hasn't looked like the same guy who defeated legends like Chris Weidman and Lyoto Machida in quite some time. One of his most significant issues recently has been avoiding big left hands. In fact, all of Rockhold's three most recent setbacks have been caused by nasty lefts. Bisbing used a left hook to set up his TKO title victory, while Yoel Romero and Jan Blahovic used their left hands to knock Rockhold out cold. A struggling former champion will look to avoid the knockout blows when he returns to action, which is expected to happen sometime in 2022. Number 5. Conor McGregor Lack of grappling When it comes to selling pay-per-views and putting people in seats, no one does it better than the notorious Conor McGregor. The Irishman is an elite-level trash talker and former two-division champion who will one day be a member of the UFC Hall of Fame. Yet despite his many accolades, McGregor has long had a glaring hole in his game, which is a clear lack of grappling chops. The Notorious One's issues with his grappling game first became apparent to UFC fans during his 2015 bout with Chad Mendes. Mendes would eventually run out of gas and get TKO'd near the end of the second round. However, the team alpha male member controlled his opponent with high-level wrestling for most of the fight prior to his demise. While he managed to get past Mendes, the Dublin native would not be so fortunate at USC 196 when a failed takedown attempt led to Nate Diaz mounting the Irishman and submitting him with a rear naked choke. Of course, his grappling deficiencies were glaringly evident in his epic UFC 229 bout with Habib Nurmagomedov. During the contest, the evil smothered his rival with a dominant display of wrestling. Sure, there's no shame in getting outgrappled by the undefeated Russian. However, McGregor once again struggled with takedowns in his most recent tussle with Dustin Poirier. At this point, future opponents know that the easiest way to beat McGregor is by getting him to the mat. Number 4. Ronda Rousey The Late Strikers When Robbie Ronda Rousey burst on the scene, it was clear that her elite-level grappling was women's MMA had never seen before. A submission specialist, the megastar from Riverside, California, used her signature armbar to tear through the bantamweight division. Rousey looked unstoppable throughout her first call fights, 11 of which were won in the very first round. Of course, the undefeated former Olympian finally hit a wall in the form of elite strikers. At UFC 193, she squared off with multi-time boxing champion Holly Holm. Rousey had no answer for the challenger striking and was eventually put away with a brutal head kick, resulting in one of the biggest upsets in UFC history. 
Things did not get any easier following the home loss, as Rousey's next opponent would be a man of the Lioness Nunes, one of the deadliest strikers in women's MMA. Nunes outclassed her adversary on the feet, picking up a star-making TKO victory in just 48 seconds. After consecutive defeats, the MMA star decided to step away from the octagon. While she never officially retired, Rousey hasn't fought since 2016 and has no plans to return to mixed martial arts. Number 3. Donald Cerrone – Big Fight Nevers With 23 to his credit, Donald Cowboy Cerrone has the most wins in USC history. While the Cowboy from Colorado boasts an incredible resume, the lightweight star has unfortunately fallen flat in his biggest fights. While universally respected, pundits have criticized Cerrone for struggling on the grandest stages. These problems date back to his WEC days, in which Cerrone unsuccessfully challenged for the promotion's lightweight title on three separate occasions. His struggle with big fight nerves became even more pronounced in the UFC. After eight consecutive wins in the octagon, Cerrone finally earned his shot at UFC gold in 2015. At UFC on Fox 17, he would face Rafael Dos Anjos with the lightweight title hanging in the balance. Unfortunately, Cerrone looked completely befuddled from the get-go and was easily dispatched by Dos Anjos in a little over a minute. Though it wasn't for a title, Cerrone's most high-profile fight would occur in January of 2020 when he faced the notorious Conor McGregor. Of course, Cerrone would again falter when the lights shine their brightest. McGregor made short work of his UFC 246 opponent, picking up a seemingly effortless TKO victory in just 40 seconds. There's no question that Cerrone has had an outstanding career, but his apparent issues with big fight nerves have kept him from reaching the sport's pinnacle. Number 2. Tyron Woodley Hesitancy. The chosen one Tyron Woodley's recent boxing matches with Jake Paul highlighted something he had previously been criticized for in the latter part of his MMA career, hesitancy and an unwillingness to let his hands go. The passivity has been particularly evident in fights with Kamaru Usman, Gilbert Burns, and Colby Covington, all of which resulted in one-sided losses for the chosen one. In truth, even in fights he won, the problem persisted. For example, Woodley's UFC 214 dud with Damian Maya resulted in the fewest strikes thrown in a title bout that went all five rounds. Woodley also appeared overly cautious during his second clash with Stephen Thompson at UFC 209, something which angered quite a few MA fans. As a two-time All-American college wrestler and former UFC champion, Woodley has had a remarkable combat sports career despite his struggles in recent years. Number 1. John Jones – Public Relations his apologists can still argue that John Jones is the best mixed martial artist to ever compete in the sport. Still, there's no denying that his biggest career losses have come from various legal and public relations issues outside the cage. The former light heavyweight champion's laundry list of troubles includes a hit and run involving a pregnant woman, multiple failed drug tests, and allegations of domestic abuse, just to name a few. Though he never lost it in the cage, Jones has also been stripped of his light heavyweight crown three times once for violating the USC Code of Conduct and twice for failed drug tests. His infamous brawl with Daniel Cormier at a press conference, DUI charges, and the 2019 incident in which Jones allegedly assaulted a cocktail waitress weren't great for his public image either. As exceptional as his career has been, it's hard not to wonder how much more Jones could have accomplished if he stayed out of trouble. As always, if you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to let me know by leaving a like and subscribing to our channel. Apart from that, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.